offer on-demand kayaking where you can just walk up um, and you, we have lockers where you can put your things and we'll put you in a boat. The only requirement is that you have to know how to swim. When it started, it was just a, a boathouse for people that wanted to get on the river. And at that time, nobody did. The Hudson was just considered a toxic mess. Nobody wanted to be out here. There was very few places you could even put your boat in. There was always kind of a fringe sort of like paddle groups on the river here and there. But they were, they were high seawalls. Um, and they basically worked through the idea of trying to get their boats down across these walls and getting ladders in clandestinely. Uh, this was in the late 80s, these people sort of started this. And one of the concerns they had at that time was that the city would eventually shut down all access to the river. So they're hoping to find ways to make the Hudson more amenable to recreation. When they decided they were going to rebuild Hudson River Park, uh, it became very important that they not build just walls along the river. The, the founders sort of decided that instead of trying to be a club, what they would do is start a nonprofit organization to try and basically build up a large constituency for water access. Uh, and the decision was made that the best way to do this was to simply put people in boats. There were people walking by, kind of looking in, and a couple of us figured out, why don't we put some of us in our boats? So I had one, and so I brought somebody in, put him in the boat, and said, go ahead and try it. And they would go out in this big embayment out there. They had a great time, and also it got people interested in the river. So at first it was kind of a hard sell, and the hardest part was saying it was free. Because you got people saying, you selling me a cell phone? Well, what's your religion? What do, what do you want me to do? The concept of free was kind of tough in New York in those days too. But it gradually got people in, and we could, you know, it was okay, you could go. And we have three locations. We're down here at Pier 40. We also have a location at Pier 96 and at 72nd Street. And then we have people that have said, you know what, it's too far to travel. I'll start my own. So there's one over in Hoboken from one of our following, former volunteers, another one in Long Island City. They're starting to crop up here and there. Some, there's one in Red Hook, the same thing. And so they're gradually, so anybody in Staten Island wants to start one, give us a call. <laughs> we work to try and get as many people on the river as we possibly can. We've bought a lot of new equipment this year and it's all being used almost all the time and people will be walking on the bike path uh, and they'll see the kayaks in the water and they'll, just out of curiosity, they'll want to come by and ask what, what the deal is. And so we tell them it's free kayaking and all they need to do is get on a life jacket and go kayak. I was biking up the west side one day uh, along the bike path, uh, saw all these colorful kayaks out in the water and got kind of curious. and. Uh, Actually, when I first came down, I was coming down to go on one of our three-hour trips. Uh, there's a lottery for the trips because we get a lot more people who want to go. And I came three straight Saturdays and didn't make the lottery each time. It was towards the end of the season. I said, you know what, I'm going to come back and volunteer next year. This way I can go on the trips whenever I want. And I came back to volunteer, and that was about six years ago. Each location has a group of dedicated volunteers that keep the operation going. So we're a 501c3 nonprofit. It's all volunteers, nobody gets paid. Uh, in the beginning, we didn't even have a donation box because people would try to give us money. And we're like, we're in a bathing suit, we can't take your money, <laughs> you just get wet. And so eventually they would just get, they got weird about it. It was like they wanted to, and it's like, okay, there's a box there, if you want to put something in your box. You know? And so it's paid for by uh, storage of boats up at Pier 96, uh, a membership in the downtown boathouse that gets you absolutely nothing for $50. And, uh, and some people throw in some money for donations, and that's fine or not as they like. And as I said, it's run by people that love to donate their time, put people out on the water, and have kind of their own beach house down here. Volunteering is very easy. You just need to be here. No skills required. Just come on by, express an interest in volunteering, and we'll get you started. They don't even know how to swim. They don't even have to ever be in a boat. We can still use help doing everything. Uh, I mean, we build almost all of our equipment ourselves. So we always use, use people like welders and carpenters. Desk work, you know, moving the boats in and out all the time. It's like there's a lot of stuff that, that, that has to happen on the land side. So even if people have no interest in being in the water, we, don't actually, we can still use their help. It's a lot of fun, uh, and w there's also opportunities to go on volunteer trips. So we have every Tuesday and Friday, for just volunteers only, we have trips on the Hudson. Then we have special classes for volunteers. There's a lot of perks for volunteers. Basically, it depends what people want out of the organization. The more they can put in, the more they can get out. Most of my kayaking experience is, is down here. Uh, it's great because if you're a volunteer and you stick around for classes and you go on trips, there's a lot of really knowledgeable people who volunteer and you can learn a lot.
come down you know, to one of our three locations, either Houston Street or 56th Street or 72nd Street on the Hudson River and, and just say you want to volunteer. It gets you out, um, gets you outside a lot. Uh, it's good exercise. Uh, it gets you a very different perspective on the city as well. So you'll see crowded bike paths on a summer day and crowded parks, but you'll see very uncrowded water. Uh, even if there's a hundred people out here, it's still very uncrowded water. Uh, and it, that gives you like sort of like a, a nice view of the city with a sense of solitude. This is a great place just to, you know, get out on the water and take in some sun and experience New York from the river, which is a, a great experience. It starts usually the middle of May and winds up the middle of October. Uh, we have a, a, a website, downtownboathouse.org, or if you just do downtown boathouse on Google, it's usually the top one. Um, it'll tell you all the, the locations, all the times, everything else. We have a weekend and holiday at all of our locations. It's free and it's kayaking and it's pretty simple. Uh, a lot of people think there's a bigger story than that, but uh, uh, I just tell them you have to come down. And people who stop for information, I said there's no information, you just paddle. That's it, that's all the information you need.